Welcome back and first up you can see the guys put the uh, top coat there on this um, second one of the lower four plane um, skin plugs. I'm just starting to create the mold for that one. And here's the left side upper four plane plug there in putty. So that one's ready to go up on the machine and have its uh, final round of milling. And the right hand side one took about a day to get it all done so this will be about the same. And here's that plug from earlier, so now the guys have got the lightweight layer of uh, glass on there and got the peel ply on there, so that's all just curing and ready to have the heavyweight layers put on. And we finally had Mark sort out all the details for uh, the parachute strap, so this new bracket here, as you can see in that picture there, is going to anchor the parachute strap to the front of the forward bulkhead. So here you can see Jeff, I just printed out the pictures for him, the template, and um, Jeff's been cutting those bits of steel out, and we'll have Brit weld those up next week. And here's that uh, upper left side uh, four-plane plug up on the machine, and uh, sort of about a third of the way through there, so you can see the top skin uh, being done there. So still quite a ways to go on that one. And it's a little bit further along, so uh, switched over to the ball mill there. Unfortunately had a power cut, so I had to restart it again, which is a bit of a pain because you've got to reset from the so halfway through the last tool path that was running. And the guys are still spent a little bit of time getting this uh, foam in place and looking nice and neat uh, before they put the carbon over the top of that to make those braces for that. And there's Zach just getting ready to start sanding on that uh, right side upper four plane plug. And now we're into the next day and uh, this is the left hand side one that's still up on the machine but all finished now. And uh, it came out nicely, didn't have too many problems with that one. It's always good to have a second go around on something. And here's that one that Zach's been sanding on. You see he's made quite a bit of progress on that one already so it won't be too long and that one will be ready for its uh, first round of primer. And as you can see here, the guy's got the heavyweight layers put down on this, um, the one that you saw earlier. This is the, uh, the uh, left-hand side lower um, four-plane skin mold. So that one is just ready for bracing. And as you can see now, they've cut the foam out there to make the braces for that. And they just need to um, get on with that and uh, lay the glass over the top of that. And that one, that mold will be just um, needing just trimming to be finished. And our parachute arrived um, all the way from the Czech Republic. So as you can see, it's in a nice little sort of soft pack, although it's quite firm. And there's the rocket for it that mounts kind of next to it and um, has its all straps and, and the, the activation cord. And there's the lever that's or the activation handle that's going to be mounted uh, inside the cabin on, on the ceiling. So you, with a safety pin and that, so you, you pull that safety pin out when you want to activate it and then pull the, the actual lever. And speaking of purchasing things, so I was looking at uh, USB ports um, to put in the aircraft and I found these ones. These are the ones for aviation and you, now you know why uh, things in aviation cost so much. $350 for two USB port. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Just absolutely ridiculous why anyone pay that. Anyway, so I got these, uh, $25. And um, so that's going to do exactly what we need to do and basically the same thing. And, you know, obviously this is just designed for car use but it's going to work perfectly well uh, for what we're doing so uh, I ordered uh, two of those the other day and uh, they arrived and so this is what it looks like and of course that little ring and the thing actually lights up so you can kind of find it and uh, we'll be having uh, two on board as I was saying and I'll show you uh, in a minute where they're going to be located at least uh, in the prototype so back into the CAD and I've uh, been busy working on this all week uh, anyway, so the first USB port is going to be there mounted on that center console stack there, uh, just down the bottom. And the second one uh, in the back, on the back of the, uh, the armrest console and there, you can see I've also put um, in sort of placeholders for headphone microphone jacks there for the back seats. And uh, also got ones there, I'll show you here in a second, uh, for the front seats. And we're hoping that you don't have to use uh, regular headphones. And that, that's a little bracket there that's going to actually mount a connector for the uh, switches are going to be in the throttle for the go around. Uh, and there's the headphone uh, ones for the front, but anyway, I'm hoping that we don't have to wear regular headphones uh, on board because the cabin will be fairly quiet. Maybe just the in-ear ones will be good. Um, there's the ones for the pilot side there, for the headphone jacks. 
So what else? Uh, on vertical power, I've got the one of the front connectors going there. So there's five different big connectors on the vertical power. So I've got that one on the front all done and all of its wiring hooked up to all the other different um, bits of avionics that it powers. Um, so you can see basically the wiring all going in and out and around to different places there. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here that I've done since last time? It's hard to sort of keep track of everything. Um, yeah, in the back here, I've got two more of the connectors there, um, the 10 pin one and the 12 pin one, and all the associated wiring with those going to all the other different um, units that you know live everywhere. And you see I've got the power there hooked up, um, which I think I had before already done, but anyway. And uh, then all these different connectors now, this is all sort of new since last time over the last couple of days. Um, got those in and got some of the wiring pinouts to find on those but at least I got everything sort of placeholded in and there's the one for the backup battery and then over here I've got the one for let's see uh, this is going to be a little connector there for the power going to the door pressure seals um, for the left and right doors because we're going to have sort of rubber inflatable seals around the doors they're just very narrow, narrow profile but they're still electrically operated with a little pump and that one there you saw that was for the autopilot head um, in the middle there that's highlighted and what else uh, over on this side I've got a 25 pin connector that's going to run uh, through a cable with a conduit up to the overhead switch panel where we have all the different switches to control different things and there's the other one for the door seals um, for the right hand door and over on the side here, I've got uh, just placeholder connectors for what's going to be um, the wiring that comes out of the uh, side sticks. And so we're just going to put connectors there so we can, you know, put the end, one end on the uh, side stick because they already have all the wiring sort of put in there with just uh, bare wires at the end right now. So it'd be nice just to have a connector on the end to plug in and out. And then over here, I've made this sort of indent panel here where a bunch of the different things are going through because I've moved some of the stuff from the left hand side over, uh, sorry, from the right hand side to the left hand side. So I've got the main 28 pin connector there that's going to have most of the electrical going through the bulkhead. And I've got room for another one there if I need it. And I've got the pedostatic and angle of attack ones going through there as well, which I think I had before. But And I've also put in here, this is how the uh, the elevators um, is going to be actuated through that um, rod there and then this is the autopilot hookup for that and then down below there's the actuation rod um, the main torque tube actually that's going to be actuated by the sticks when you push them in and out so that's just mocked into place Mark will be doing the, the final sort of design on that with you know specking out exactly what materials and everything I just doing the conceptual design right now of how it works and so it twists as it's going through the the forward bulkhead there so we don't have to worry about pressure leaking because there's just a bearing in there which will be airtight so that'll all hook up um, to a set of push rods that are going to run inside of the foreplane uh, to actuate the elevators so as you can see things are coming along here uh, let's see what else do we have um, I've still got a, you know a bunch of different um, wiring um, connections that have to be made but most of the connectors are in now for most of, uh, most of the different units and actually I didn't really show you yet but hidden in that center console there's the, the 750 which is a nav comm unit um, GPS and everything like that in there and so you can see there's three different connectors on there right now I've got two of them hooked up mainly just with the power and ground pinouts right now and I'm trying my best to keep all the wires sort of neat and tidy and, and in various different runs um, so it's sort of you know all well organized and finally a little bit of an update on our engine it um, obviously is still over at the dyno shop I haven't been over there this week I've just been slammed but um, working on all this stuff but Ed has been there one day this week and he's got it running and it's running sort of smoothly on there and generating some power but he needs to put a couple more sensors on the engine in order for the ECU to be able to have more information um, in order to to be able to you know tune it correctly and so he's going to be doing that next week and hopefully soon after that we get to uh, someone from MoTeC down to help uh, tune it. Anyway, that's our update, and thanks again for watching.